Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, we are gonna talk about something very different and actually very unusual on YouTube right now, but I've decided to compare this phone right here that, as you may recognize, it is an iPhone 7 to the iPhone 14 Pro that I've had for a few days. So this video is made only for fun because of course you know already the results of this comparison but it is always fun to see how this iPhone 7 just compared to the newest iPhone that it is out right now. And also if you are more interested into this iPhone 7 I can do like a day with this phone or maybe a week or something and see how it is to have an iPhone 7 in 2022. Let me know it down below in the comments and I will do maybe more video on this phone. As I was saying, this video it's only for fun, so you will know of course the winner of this challenge, but I had to say that the iPhone 7 kinda surprised me in the results and you will see it also on the screen, so you will judge by yourself, but knowing that it has all of this here, it's not bad at all in my opinion. So as you can see, I did some photos and some videos, but before watching those, I can say that it kind of feels good to have like a very very light phone in your hand it is very very thin and actually it is very very small and it's kind of funny that long time ago we thought that this iPhone 7 was very big but right now it is very very small actually and it feels good to use this phone because as I said it's very light very thin and also very very small so it's very comfortable to use it with one hand and this is for sure a plus. I've had the iPhone 14 Pro so it is not the biggest one that you can find in the Apple family. It is still bigger than this and also it is a lot heavier than this. Just trust me if you never use an iPhone 13 Pro or 14 Pro you don't know how heavy it is that phone because it's very very thick. Of course if you exclude that you have right here just one camera it is still pretty good you can see some pictures and some videos later and also the worst thing that I can notice on this it is the screen because it does have this thick bezels it does have this fake button and the screen resolution it's really really low you can see it's a big difference if you compare it to a newer phone that can be like the newest iPhone or maybe another Android phone and you can see you can see it in a second that the screen it is very very low resolution anyway as i said before if you want to know more about this phone like using it right now in 2022 let me know down below in the comments and i will do something about it but let's see some comparison between this phone and the iphone 14 pro with some picture and some videos so as i said before the results are pretty predictable but you can see that the iphone 7 it is not too bad, I mean it does all very good for its age and sometimes it did some very very good photos. In fact if you have like some very good lighting and you have enabled the HDR and you take the very right angle you can get some very very good photos in my opinion. You can see still the difference between this phone and the iPhone 14 Pro of course but it is not that big I mean in sunlight and as I said with very good light the difference it's very very small and you can see it very well in a sunny day when you have to take a photo with a very difficult dynamic range because if you have to take a photo with some light and some shadow the phone will struggle and you can see probably the highlights are pretty much burnt also if you are using the HDR fu function but if you are doing some close-ups some subject photos you can see that it does very good photos still at this moment. The edge detection and the blurriness of the phone it is not one of the best but in my opinion it is still decent. For the video side the difference is pretty big because you have the stabilization of the new lenses on the newest iPhone and so you can see that on this phone it is not very stabilized but it is not too bad also because I can see that some Android phone still right now are taking like videos that are not at this iPhone 7 level. So if you are still using one of these phone, I mean, it is not too bad. And unfortunately in the photo mode, we miss the night mode. So if you have to shoot something with very low light or maybe in the night, you will not have that function. So you will take just some noisy photos and that's pretty much it. Also, we have to consider that this phone, the iPhone 7, it does take better photos in a way compared to the iPhone 14 Pro because 
on the iPhone 14 Pro, I've noticed some white balance issue and on this phone, it is pretty much on point. So of course, on the newest iPhone, the software, it is not yet optimized for the photos and videos because it just came out right now. But on this phone, you have much more stability on the white balance. So you can rely a little bit more on this one. And this is very funny in a way. Anyway, this was just a quick and fast video just to compare these two phones, as I said before, for fun. So let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this comparison. And if you have an iPhone 7, let me know it down below in the comments. And also, if you want to see more about this phone or maybe some older phone like this, let me know it down below in the comments. And I will try to do some videos from your ideas. And also, let me know if the price difference it is justified between these two phones. I mean, it's just for fun. So let me know it down below in the comments. Anyway, if you did like this video, just hit the like button down below because it's free. And also subscribe to this channel so you will see some other comparison like this and also some comparison between top camera phone, latest phone released. So check on my channel, you will see a lot of videos and a lot more are coming. So as always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.